Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is your friend Vijayadav, back with another video in the Clark University vlog series. And in this video, we are going to talk about immunization records that is required by every university in USA if you are an international student and coming to USA. A little background about myself, I am a master's student pursuing data analytics in Clark University and I came to USA in spring 2022 semester. So we have fulfilled all the immunization record when we were coming and I know that there are a lot of lot of confusion regarding this immunization records for every student going for any universities so in this video i'm going to clarify some of the doubts i will tell you a few tricks that i applied which worked for me so i will tell that by the end of the video so stick till the end and watch this whole video to get and understand every requirements that is put by the Clark University or any university in general in USA for you as an international student. Now, I believe that Clark University must have already provided you with the link and the information of the health immunization form via email or any further communication they might have already done with you. But in case, let's say you do not have that information, you can go to this link, which I will post down in the description and you can go to this link. This is the official Clark website link where you can find the details about immunization policies right and similarly it will be uh, there will be a link for your own respective universities if you are not from clark university and some other universities now as you can see here on this website they have put two different sections of vaccination which is one of them is required and one of them is recommended so the required section is an absolute mandatory requirements which you must have or must comply with at least like that's the minimum bare requirement that you should have it right and then recommended are the ones which Probably if you have it, it's better because let's say there is an outbreak of these diseases, you are immune because you have the vaccines, right? Now that's the information that is put on the uh, Clark website. They have also put here the information of where you can get vaccination. So I will reach, I will come and I will talk about that uh, in the later part of the video. But before that, let me discuss about the required vaccination itself. Now, let's say that you do not have the form for some reason and you want to see the form, you can go here, health forms. And probably it will be provided here so if you are an undergrad student you can get immunization info here or I think these are the forms okay these are the forms for undergraduate so if you're an undergraduate student coming to Clark University you can download your forms from here and then you can fill them out but if you are a graduate student uh, coming to Clark University in the fall semester you can go ahead and download these forms here so this is the, the first form provided here is tuberculosis risk assessment which uh, we have done when I was coming and I'll talk more about it later graduate immunization record which i have right now here with me which i did while which i did when i was coming to clark university so you can download uh, the form from here so i will just go ahead and click this form oh so yeah so this is exact form which i have here uh, with me and you can download this form from the website itself the link will be in the description itself so now we will go and discuss about these uh, required vaccines one by one so you get the clear idea and if you do not have it i'll tell you how i'll tell you what to do exactly in any case if you have the documents if you have the certificates and you know that you have taken these vaccines uh, and you have the documents obviously put those dates here and then provide that documents if asked by the clark university right now if you do not have these documents what you can do is you can you can do the test to find out from any clinic that if you have those antibodies for that vaccinations right so you can go and do a do a test of that particular vaccine and you can get the report from any any clinic or any hospitals right but now uh, in my case what i did is as it is mentioned here that dose one 12 months of age or after dose two at least 20 days after 21 uh, after your dose one so that means when we were born after this measles mumps and rubella should be given to you after 12 months of age so usually what happens in like usually what happened with us is we do have all the vaccines given to us our parents have uh, ensured that we get all the vaccines but it is not easy for us to reproduce all the certificates uh, for, since that time right so now you might have a family doctor or you might have a person who knows that you took, the, took those vaccines so in case you are not able to reproduce the laboratory reports or the actual certificate you can go ahead and discuss with them and ask your doctor to put these dates for you uh, based on your age and based on the time it is prefer to be given right that's one solution uh, same for hepatitis B if you know that you have taken the vaccine you can go ahead and discuss with your family doctor you can take the required test if you want to and or you can just put the date after discussing with your uh, family doctor 
tetanus diphtheria uh, i think this is something that we all have by default i mean at some point of time we did take this tetanus uh, uh, tetanus in a vaccine if you do not have it just go and take one from your nearest clinic i think or consult with your family doctor but in case you have just put the dates of uh, that particular vaccination vacerilla vaccine that is chicken pox obviously we all have uh, had a chicken pox vaccination while in our childhood i'm speaking from like i come from india so i'm talking about india so i think we definitely took it our parents ensured that we have chicken pox vaccines uh, with us so i put those dates discussing with my uh, with my family doctor that we have and uh, that's what i did covid vaccine of course we all are vaccinated with covid i am assuming that but that's a very recent one so we do have laboratory reports for that so you can put what vaccine you had and the dates for that so in my case i took astrazeneca from indonesia and i put all those dates uh, for my covid vaccine other than that uh, other recommended vaccine as you can see hpv hpv vaccine is recommended hepatitis a and influenza pneumococcal something right so these vaccines are recommended if you do not have it that's fine but you can take at the later stage when you reach here now let's say that you do not have any kind of documents and you do not have time to do any kind of test and you do not have any time to the vaccination in india or your respective country what you can do is you might be taking the health insurance from clark anyway the blue the blue cross shield uh, health insurance in any way right because you're coming here so that uh, that insurance covers all type of vaccines here in usa so you can come here you can get all those vaccinations for free and you can get all uh, all the vaccination that is listed here for free so in my case i had measles mmr rubella uh, first vaccination in india itself not recently but in the past so my doctors has confirmed me that that okay you can put the date for that then the, for the second shot uh, for the second shot of mmr i was given a free vaccination in my clark health services as well so because we have all that insurance every type of vaccine will be available to you from clark itself so you don't need to worry if you do not have any vaccine you can come to usa you can come to clark university and then schedule your vaccination dates here once you arrive right now remember that it is very important for you to get vaccinated if you do not get vaccinated they will put hold on your account and you won't be able to register any classes or anything else right so even if you do not have a vaccination you can come here but you can but you'll have to schedule your uh, appointment with clark university and then you have to get vaccinated from uh, clark health services now if you go back to the website back so we'll talk about this section where they have mentioned where to get vaccination. So this is what I was talking about. There is this service with Clark University, Clark University Health Services. Now you can go and schedule an appointment with them and they will obviously provide you with the vaccination that is listed here if you do not have it, right? And you can similarly go to Walgreens, CVS Pharmacy. That is uh, one of the CVS Pharmacy is nothing but a medical kind of clinic where you get all kind of uh, medicines. You can schedule your appointments for vaccines and it's all free if you have that insurance right that's the information that i had to give you with the info with the immunization requirements uh i think that's all for the video thank you very much for watching the video and i hope it helps and clarifies few doubts about the immunization policies of an international student when they come to usa so thank you again for watching stay subscribed like the video if you found this helpful share it with your friends who are coming to usa and share it with someone who might find it useful and leave your comments below with your questions uh, whichever whichever you might have and stay subscribed because next video is what to pack and what all to bring to USA when you come from India or your respective country. So I will discuss about what all things to uh, carry with yourself and that video is going to be very interesting. So stay subscribed and like the video, share the video. Have a nice day. Take care.